Hello everyone, it's Living the Good Life and I have more finds for you. This time it's useful stuff, vintage glassware, and vintage jewelry. Hope you're going to enjoy everything. This came from a single house and I paid $27 for everything you're going to see and it was a blast. So we were one of the first people in and it was in my neighborhood and we could kind of just like take our own time and look at everything and just had a blast. So here we got, I got a couple of useful things, a package of combs, some markers, some Gorilla Tape. Uh, I got a Chronological Study Bible. Uh, there was this Coca-Cola charm thing. Guess it can, uh, uh, there were some pins. And then I get into the glassware. This is a piece of Murano glass. And here we go. You can see it's all this swirly pattern and there's the sticker, Murano, there's this side, so really neat, it's got that split handle, so such a good deal for $27 for everything. I did get him for $2, so I got everything else for $25, and I saw him as my friend was checking out, and he it's just a little fun toy, it says, it's, it's kind of the wonder dog, so you press this on the bottom and he moves, look different ways that you press it. Uh, it's hard to do it with one hand, but so he can just do all kinds of things, bend his head, bend down. You, so wherever you press on here depends on where he moves and he still works after all these years. So that's neat. This is, I found two of these. So normally, you know, I give all the Christmas stuff I find to my friend, but there was two of them. So I got one and she got one and it is Fenton. Uh, 1992 and it has the little bluebird and it's uh, kind of an iridescent clear so that was really pretty and fun this is a pretty large vase it's probably about a foot tall it's got the peacock on the front and I had never seen this glass before Ardell uh, made in Italy Ardalt it's not really an Italian name it usually ends in a vowel I'm Italian, so I'm saying that. So uh, that was pretty. Uh, so a lot of these were like in a built-in cupboard, and I just started looking, and I found all this. This was in there. This is that purple iridescent Fenton, and it's got his, his um, Carnival Glass by Fenton brochure in, the, in it. So it was pretty as well. This is a, a signed, uh, and I think it's probably... Uranium glass, and I finally bought a new um, a black light at like a hardware store because I went to Walmart. They said, "Oh, Walmart has them." Well, back in the pack session, I couldn't find them. The employees had no idea what I was asking for, so I'm gonna go practice uh, with my black light on everything. So, but here's some. This reminds me of very 70s, <laughs> and it is signed on the bottom, and it's got the paper label. So that was fun. So you can see I've already got all these and I haven't even got to the jewelry yet. And it was only $25 for all this stuff plus $2 for the dog. Here's a little, and this was all in a huge, you know those plastic tubs that you get that, um, you know, you put under the bed with all your, Christ your Christmas wrapping paper or birthday wrapping paper. It was all in one of those flat uh, you know, tubs and I had dug through, um, Mardi Gras beads and all kinds of stuff to find it. So there was this vintage bracelet, a rhinestone necklace, a vintage blue bracelet, and then we have some uh, pendants, and there is a, I'm putting my other hand up here to steady this, some other brooches. Here's one for, for uh, I might just wear that. It's coming up. So I could put that, I could wear that. But I understand you have to put it up, or otherwise the luck runs out. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. Anyways, I found one bit of gold in here. This heart locket and chain are both 14 karat gold. And it was all tangled up with something. And we you'd never have known it with the white gold. I just don't even think gold when I see white gold until I read it. These are a sterling as well. You know how it is trying to do this with one hand. Then I'll probably get this as my... There we go. 
sterling. So there's those. And this was a sterling ring. This is a watch ring. It's kind of got that stretchy band. So probably the 70s that was in there. This is a tape measure. One of the old kind. And then we've got some pewter um, crafting sewing pins. There's this one. There's the thimble. So there was about four of them. I love crafts and all. So that was neat. Here's an old pen. I love this one. You know, I'm all about the shine, the, the glitz and the prettiness. There was one earring to match it. I've got all these. I'm going, I'm so disappointed. Even though it's a on the fact that there was only one to go with it uh, here's a little mouse and he's got a reticulated tail it moves uh, there's a rhinestone pendant and a little doggy and a boot and a tiger's eye and a couple of probably fake turquoise and there's black we've got a rose bracelet right there some can of teal, which are probably sterling, but I didn't check. Another vintage little brooch. Here's a black brooch. Here's another black brooch. You'd think, oh, that's a single earring, but it's not. It's a brooch, and I think it's, yes, yeah, Monet. Uh, this, I don't get this. Do you get this? It's, it's a rhinestone donkey, but then it's got these weird things hanging there, and it looks like it's made that way that makes it so ugly I gotta see if that comes off uh, here's some pretty blue earrings and they match this beautiful brooch with a delicate pearl brooch there here's a nice iridescent aurora borealis beads go back up here I'm just going back and forth back and forth uh, here's a little uh, silver brooch there's one here, another uh, one here. Here we got another blue one. So she could have worn the earrings with both. And here's another rhinestone brooch. Come down to here, we have this little Asian elephant. Uh, we also have, these are the poor little orphaned earrings. We'll go in like a crafting bag at my garage sale. There's that. And then I got one Bath and Body Works, like cinnamon apple kind of candle. And that was my fabulous finds. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything. I'd love to hear from you. And I appreciate your subscriptions. I'm getting pretty close to 5,500. And I can't thank you all enough. Bye-bye.